Good evening, good evening, my friends. Today, today, today is a day that, like, I mean, what can we even say? I mean, Roe versus Wade overturned. Hallelujah. You know, like, praise God. I mean, who would have ever thought that this would happen? I mean, it, 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 it's, it blows my mind, especially with how um, disappointed I've been by governing officials and stuff in the past few years. Um, this really just, really just, it puts it into to some conspiracy theories. It puts it into to a lot of things, and, and it really gives me hope. Uh, it gives me hope that, that God's going to let us triumph. Uh, uh, one more time. I mean, we've already experienced it. This is a great triumph. And I just want to share the scripture out of Proverbs 20. It says, when righteous men do rejoice, there is great glory. But when the wicked rise, a man is hidden. And at this time, this is a time, not when the wicked are rising, even though they are rising, but this is a time when the righteous get to rejoice and there is great glory with this rejoicing this to me is kind of like it's kind of like when Josiah was king and you know he was like one of the last good kings before um, the judgment came on Israel and I think we're living in one of those times where it's like it's like Josiah you know, and, and we get this last reprieve and we get to see God's glory. Like I was begging God. I was for real. I begged God, please let me see something. You know what I mean? Not like a, a sign, but I just, I wanted to see a victory, you know, and, and I really believe that this is a gift from God to encourage the body of Christ. So marinate in it. Okay enjoy it while we can because this type of victory i don't know how many more of these we will see you know and and we really need to take it to heart and enjoy it and just know that that our god is still god and he still controls the hearts of men and we thank him and we praise him for what he's done and i'm continuing to pray that he will cause his fear to fall on all of those who are going to try and cause riots and all that stuff. Just, just keep that in prayer. Pray that the fear of the Lord falls on the land, that people are afraid to uh, come against this decision. Okay? And, uh, and I'm also praying for uh, thunder, storms, and rain on all the gay pride parades tomorrow. So that's another prayer that we should lift up. I just want a sign and a wonder from heaven that it is clear that they know that they're wrong and that God is not pleased and that they are in danger of wrath if they are not ex already experiencing it. Okay. All right. Well, God bless you guys. Whew. Thank you, Lord. And I love you guys. Bye.